hello students we have started the chapter pollution of air and water in this we have discussed a lot about air pollution and now today we are going to discuss about the water pollution okay so to begin with first of all what is the meaning of water pollution or how can we define water pollution okay so to begin we will write water pollution so i can write when water get contaminated due to some unwanted harmful or toxic chemicals it is when water get contaminated due to some unwanted i have put comma over there unwanted harmful or toxic chemicals then it is said to be it is said to be water pollution okay see i have written the definition that when whenever when something which kind of things harmful unwanted or some toxic material okay or toxic chemicals it get mixed up with the water we can say that water has got polluted okay obviously see uh, when we talk only about pollution normal if i say define pollution or what is pollution so the general answer will be whatever like we are talking about anything maybe air maybe water maybe soil whenever whatever uh, uh, on whatever topic we are talking about so what is pollution when either air or water or in this thing something get added which is harmful which is not useful okay we which we don't want to be mixed up that is pollution okay so as we have discussed air pollution what is air pollution when something get mixed up like what something when chemicals or toxic gases these gases when they get mixed up with the air so what happens it causes air pollution in the same way when these chemicals okay sudden harmful chemicals when they get mixed with the drinking water or water we can say that water is polluted okay now what are the reasons children why what are the reasons for water pollution why water is getting polluted see uh, we or i can say living being uh and the relationship between the living beings and water like it doesn't need any kind of explanation we all know the importance of water for survival of life okay but still the water is uh, nowadays we can say it is totally polluted everywhere whatever whichever river you see water is polluted so i mean i'm asking the reason why water is getting polluted nowadays see there are many reasons like industrialization okay the number of industries are increasing okay and these industries whatever whichever industry you talk about maybe paper industry maybe chemical industry maybe ink industry maybe any kind of industry you talk about okay it is going to make a product product will be formed but at the same time certain waste material will be formed exactly same like our body we eat and 
after eating energy is being created in our body and this but uh, even the waste is generated ok waste material is also created in the same way we talk about any industry any factory product will be formed by the same time something which is harmful or unwanted will also be formed ok. So, what are the like uh, whatever industry we are talking about they are producing certain toxic chemicals materials and it get released into the water directly and it can be one of the cause of water pollution. Now, you know one very important reason is also children uh, a tremendous uh, increase in the population is like uh, the number of people the number of person the number of uh, when the uh, when population of any country increases. So, definitely it has an effect or it, it affects the growth of that country it affects the uh, pollution like you know all these things are quite related. So, as we know our country uh, has like the number of people or the population is very high and so the use the living uh, the things which are being used by the uh, human beings ok. So, when I say like when a country has very high population the use the consumption rate will also increase and obviously, pollution is also going to increase. So, you know there are many such reasons which we will discuss now one by one ok. So, before discussing reasons I want to talk about the water pollutants. Now, what is the meaning of water pollutants? So, you know whatever thing ok, whatever things are responsible for polluting water is known as water pollutants. Okay. So, I will rather rather discussing reasons we will discuss about water pollutants. We will be discussing about water pollutants ok. What can be the uh, what which kind of substances are responsible for polluting water ok. So, what can be the uh, things or what can be the substances which pollute the water it can be acids, it can be alkalis, it can be even hot water ok, it can be even mercury can be even lead, can be even arsenic, can be even zinc ok. So, all these materials may be untreated sewage water. So, all these things are responsible for creating pollution we can add keep on adding you know like we can have a big list of this even I can write detergents I should write chemical rather chemical detergents ok soaps. So, all these things are known as water pollutants now what is the meaning of water pollutant? I think you people are now very clear about this the substances which are responsible for creating water pollution are known as water pollutants. It can be acids, alkalis, hot water, detergents, soap ok, untreated sewage water maybe other substances other chemicals like mercury like lead. So, all these things when they get mixed up with the fresh water then they pollute the water ok. So, 
now we are discussing about water pollution we have discussed about the definition like what is definition contamination of water due to such kind of these substances what what it is known as it is known as pollution then we discuss about water pollutants now we will be discussing about the reasons ok. So, what are the various factors ok or reasons ok. So, first one which I want to talk about is industries ok. So, I will write the first point industrialization industrialization. Now, just now we have discussed industrialization means what that means the waste which is coming out of the industries. We have discussed that we talk about any industry or any factory it is going to make products, but along with that definitely certain waste materials will be emitted or released out. Now, see now very important part is what when these things ok industries release what all these factors will be released and this only you know, like acids like alkalis like hot water maybe mercury lead arsenic zinc all these substances or chemicals will be the part of industrialized industries like it will be the part of the waste ok. Now, when this waste is released directly into the rivers or into the water bodies definitely it is going to kill the microbes ok. Just try to understand what I am saying it is going to kill the microbes which are very very necessary for the natural cleaning of water ok. Try to understand in water there are certain microbes which are useful for us which keep on cleaning the water which are we can say they are the natural cleaners of the water. Now, when such kind of water is released these uh, kind of uh, these microbes this useful microbes they are harmed ok and the natural cleaning system of water gets stopped ok. So, first of all the first reason which I would like to discuss or what we have discussed is industrialization. Which kind of industries am, am I talking about? I am talking about all industries maybe paper industry, maybe chemical industries ok, maybe plastic industry, maybe cement industry ok maybe iron factories ok whatever factory we are talking about maybe leather ok. So, in short whatever whichever factory or industry we are talking about it is going to release waste ok. So, this was the first point. Now, we will talk about the second point I would like to discuss here the second point uh, sewage I will take ok. So, what is the meaning of sewage I think you all uh, like uh, must be very clear about the meaning of the sewage in simple language all kind of dirty water ok it can contain uh, maybe uh, human excreta, it can even contain um, uh, animal excreta ok. So, any kind of dirty water ok. So, it is going to so it can contain any kind of waste in it. Now, when this kind of sewage of when this kind of dirty water ok untreated sewage water when it is mixed or it when it get mixed up with the water bodies definitely it is going to uh, 
you know spread many diseases ok it is going to spread many diseases ok. So, sewage what I should write in sewage untreated when untreated sewage water is get mixed up with water bodies. So, very difficult always to write over here. So, what is happening water bodies pollution is created it pollutes the it pollutes the water ok it pollutes the water. Now very very important thing which has to be you know like we should keep this thing in mind due to this of an uh, untreated sewage water get mixed up with the pure water or the river water it gave rise to many diseases ok. So, what happens over here diseases are caused. So, which kind of diseases which diseases uh, can spread all water borne diseases ok water borne diseases ok. So, this is responsible for the spread of diseases and which kind of diseases all water borne diseases. Maybe I can write a, na a few names like typhoid, dysentery, cholera ok, even jaundice. So, these many diseases can spread and these are dangerous diseases ok. So, typhoid, dysentery, cholera, jaundice, even hepatitis, hepatitis all these diseases come like it spreads like anything ok. So, second point is about what sewage, what is the meaning of sewage like what happens when sewage water get mixed up it give rise to plenty of diseases ok. Now, the third point which I would like to discuss is domestic waste, domestic waste ok. Now, what comes under this domestic waste? So, under this category everything like whatever is uh, there at home and we are throwing it ok it comes under this category. Maybe uh, your usual uh, are daily garbage ok like the vegetable peels, the leftover food and the maybe the pencil uh, that when we remove when the, uh, after sharpening when the dust comes out anything maybe the wrappers of the gift articles ok, maybe or normal bulletin plastic bags ok. So, all these are responsible we can say all this comes under the category of domestic waste ok. Even human excreta ok, human excreta, animal excreta whatever normally if you are talking about village. So, even then uh, just saying animal excreta will be the part of the garbage ok. So, uh, usually when we are talking about animal excreta cow dung is used by the human beings, but when we talk about other. So, all these are what it is usually it creates lot of pollution because you know in excreta of mammals ok, in excreta of mammals certain microbes are there these microbes are very very harmful. You know when the uh, when we when the water is uh, been like when the water is checked. So, microbes the level of the microbes is also checked obviously. 
so these microbes which microbes the microbes which are present the harmful microbes which are present in the excreta of mammals should not be there and if it is there then we can say that this water is not pure okay so domestic waste contains garbage okay it can contain wrappers it can contain plastics okay it can contains even vegetable leftovers okay so all these comes under the category of so all these comes under the category of vegetable uh, i'm so sorry all this comes under the category of domestic waste now the next one fourth one oil spills first of all what is the meaning of oil spill see oil is transported through ships okay through uh, water uh, like uh, i should say through ships okay so uh, sometimes what happen uh, while transportation while tra while uh, while when the oil is moving when oil is taken from uh, one place to another place sometimes maybe due to any kind of accident maybe the uh, some leakage in the uh, tanks maybe ship uh, some something wrong goes with the ship or even you know when uh refined due to refined uh, like when the oil is been extract extracted from the surface of the uh, earth the sea bed i'm talking about so oil is leaked okay and when i'm talking about the accidents or the ship accidents or any mess happening which takes place uh with some maybe accident maybe that um, ship turns over sometimes okay so what happens oil comes out and it spread it spreads on the surface of the water now just saying this is water and on this if the oil now fourth one what we are discussing is oil spills due to some accidents when the when the oil is leaked or oil gets leaked it comes on the surface of the water and we all know oil and water are immiscible liquids now what is the meaning of immiscible liquids that means these two liquids will not get dissolved in each other neither water will get dissolved in oil or even nor even what oil will get dissolved in water so these are immiscible liquids and what will happen as the oil is lighter it is going to float on the surface of the water okay so now what is happening here the water is there and on the surface of the water oil is floating now just imagine now what will happen just use your logic what can be the consequences see first of all when the water is there and the surface of the water is blocked due to oil okay now what is happening the that like the oxygen which is which was totally in contact with the air now it is no more in contact with the water please try to understand air which was earlier totally in contact with the open water body now it is not in contact with the water why because in between water and oxygen now a film of oil is formed now this oil won't allow the oxygen to get inside water and the level of oxygen will get reduced okay now this what are the consequences what happens due to oil spill is now like lot many aquatic animals they die why they die because of in like because the supply of oxygen is not 
sufficient okay so so what will happen it will lay, it will give rise to what death of death of many aquatic animals okay it will give rise to death of many aquatic animals other than this there are many other harmful uh, effects of this you know what happen due to food chain okay it may like whatever the poison substance is there okay the poisonous substance will even reach human beings how it is consumed like the what this uh, animals are there in the water okay now when the oil is there in the water obviously it get penetrated into the body of the or it goes in one or the other way okay in the body of the animals now when we talk about fish or prawns which are usually eaten or consumed by human beings so what will happen in course of you know food, like in due course when it will be consumed by human beings it is going to come into human's body and believe me it is very dangerous and it spreads and or it give rise to various diseases this is known as bio concentration so it leads to bio concentration so it it leads to bio concentration means due to food chain the poison is going to reach to the higher organism okay it goes by food chain in the what it goes to the next organism and then there are chances that it comes in the human body also now what are the other effects like you know it usually really it it effect adversely even the eggs you know the the layer of the or the, the skin of the egg becomes very thin due to oil spills when it is consumed by the animals consumed in the sense i should not say consume when it goes when it reaches the body of the animals it affects the animal maybe by choking uh, one or the other system and even the young ones which uh, take birth also are affected by this oil spills so it gives many dangerous effect for the aquatic life so what was oil spill oil spill means when oil get or when oil comes or gets spreaded on the surface of the water it may happen due to one or the other accidents or maybe due to the or maybe due to when the uh, some refinery work or when the oil is been extracted from the uh, seabed so oil get mixed up with the water it covers the surface of the water totally it blocks the passage it blocks the entrance of the oxygen now the amount of oxygen which is left in the water in the dissolved state is not all like it won't be sufficient throughout the time so what has to be done this layer has to be removed so this layer is removed by one or the other like you know i'll tell you one small incidents uh, like uh, when the uh, a ship named chitra uh, like uh, it was moving in the uh, near somewhere near the mumbai okay so due to some accident the whole oil uh, came on the surface of the water now so uh, scientists and along with the help of the few students they worked and they uh, created certain kind of bacteria in the laboratory and these labor these bacteria were left on the surface of the water which can digest the oil which can break down the oil okay so one or the other than uh, measures or some techniques are used by the scientists so that the effect can be reduced okay 
so this was about the oil spill now the next point which i would like to discuss is fertilizers okay so next point will be chemical fertilizers now the next point is chemical fertilizer why i have written chemical over here because when we talk about organic fertilizers usually we all know okay i think so that we all know organic fertilizers are not at all harmful for the uh, health of human beings maybe for the animals when we talk about soil even it is very friendly okay that is the reason it is known as organic fertilizer so i have written over here chemical fertilizers okay so what happen when chemical fertilizers are used how water get polluted due to the use of fertilizers in the field what is the connection between the two see children when the fertilizers are used in the field that means okay i am talking here it is being spreaded or added in the it is mixed up with the soil or spread it on the plants so what happens it become the it get mixed up with the soil also and then what happen when it when it rains or even when the fields are irrigated these harmful substances it get mixed up with the water and then they reach the one or the other water body and then in due course it reaches to the river and when this polluted water reaches to the river again it will be uh, it will create bio concentration again what's the meaning of bio concentration that when this water is uh, polluted when the water is polluted by chemical fertilizers i can even say pesticides or weedicides okay when water is polluted due to chemical fertilizers or pesticides or weedicides now what is present in this fertilizers or pesticides or weedicides toxic chemicals are there okay so it increases what it increases the pollution level in the water and due to this what happens the the quality of the water get deteriorated okay and again due to like the animals which are there in the water again by one or the other way will be consumed okay by the human beings and so again it comes into the body of the humans and it create or it give rise to many many diseases so what is the chemical fertilizer all about when chemical fertilizers or pesticides or weedicides are used it get mixed up with the soil and when it rains or when the fields are irrigated it becomes the part of the water because it get dissolved in the water and somehow okay in due course when it reaches this polluted water reaches to the water bodies then what happens the water get polluted so chemical fertilizers i should write when chemicals are used they get mixed up with the soil and get dissolved in rain water and thus
pollutes the water bodies okay now we will discuss about the next one